Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday. I am in the basement. I'm going to do some laundry. I think Greg started some laundry. Actually, all by himself. He started doing his laundry. He just did his laundry all by himself today. So I don't know what was up with that. Normally I do it for him. Um, but today he just brought it down and started it. So he's got some going here. So I'm gonna switch the load that he has going and do some for the kids. Well, not the kids, but all of us. Um, I went to Once Upon a Child yesterday, um, which is a used kids clothing store around here. Uh, I don't know if they're all across the country or not, but there's a few in our area. Um, and I've been going there and shopping and having really good luck for the kids the past couple of years I've been going there. Um, and I was really excited to go this time, of course, because every time I go, I get like such good deals on stuff and I get like a whole bunch of stuff for like under $100. Um, but yesterday I went and I was disappointed because is anybody outside listening to me i'm standing right next to a window um i was disappointed because the prices have gone up there also and stuff used to be like i used to get most things for like 250 or 350 each um and then like 450 would kind of be kind of high and 550 would be like i'm definitely not spending 550 on anything unless it was something like really cute for paisley and it was like a sweater or a dress that would normally be like I don't know, $15 or something like that. Ooh, somebody is cooking and it smells good. Invite me over. I used to live there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what the prices used to be, like $250, $350 for each piece. Now it's like everything I saw was like $550. Just starting out was $550 and then stuff would get like even more expensive, like up to like $750 or $850. Like some of the girls, like toddler dresses that would were just like a normal shirt but like longer to be like a dress you know what i mean like stuff from like kohl's and like target like you know they'll just turn like a t-shirt and just like make it longer into a dress like long sleeves and make it like a dress or whatever just like a basic toddler dress would be like eight dollars at this place and normally like something like that might have been like five dollars like in the past years well now it's all expensive and i'm shopping there and i'm like getting so bummed out i'm like i can't even afford to shop at like the used kid store like even the used kid store is like feeling expensive and they had stuff for like, they had like jeans and just like other stuff I saw priced for like $11. Some things I even saw for like $12. I'm like, are you out of your mind? Like this stuff is used clothing. Not that there's, a, that there's anything wrong with it, but it's like, um, that's the, like $12 is something you'd, you'd expect to pay that like full, you'd expect to pay that for like something new, you know? So anyway, I was not able to get Paisley hardly anything. I got her a couple things, but I thought I was gonna get her like a whole fall and winter wardrobe yesterday and I just couldn't because I was like, I could buy her new stuff from Walmart for like four or five dollars. Like they have their Garanimals brand, which is like four or five dollars, I think. And they're asking like 550 for shirts at that store. Um, so it didn't really even make sense to buy used, to, used stuff when I could get new stuff for like the same price. Um, but like I said, I did get her a couple things. I got her, I got her a little sweater, which was five fifty. Um, normally, I guess something like this would be more like ten dollars. I guess it's just one U by Carter, so it'd probably be about ten dollars for it new. Um, I got the boys some flannels. I got this for Noah, which I thought was so cute. And I don't have the prices on any of this stuff because I cut the tags off already. But I think this was like four fifty probably. Um, I don't know, that wasn't for Noah, that was for Chase. This one's for Noah, another flannel. Um, then I got, I got this for Chase. How much was this? I think this might've been like 650, which I never would've spent 650 really on anything. Like I said, um, in like my past years going, that would've been like too expensive. <laughs> like I wouldn't have bought it. Um, but I got this zip up for Chase cause he needs probably something for the fall, just like a little sweater type of thing. Um, and yeah, that was either 650 or $7 maybe. The cheapest thing I got was this for Paisley, and it was a dollar fifty. And I was like looking over it. I'm like, what is wrong with this? Like, why are they only charging a dollar fifty? Uh, but I don't see anything wrong with it. There's no holes. The buttons aren't falling off or anything. So, yeah, that was my cheapest buy. But yeah, I mean, I got the kids stuff. I definitely saved money, but it wasn't like this joyous occasion like it normally is, where I'm like going out of the store with like my bags and like got all the kids like everything they need for the fall and winter for like under 100. I did spend under 100 still but I still need to get them more stuff like I wasn't able to get everything so bummer man everything's expensive Okay, 
good morning again. It is Monday. We just got home. We went to Chase's science class this morning, STEM class thing. Um, so that is done. We're home. It's 1130 and we are going to be home for the next today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. We're staying home because we are going to potty train. Um, I was going to do it. Are you okay in there? Are you okay in there? <laughs> I was going to do it last week, but I ended up getting picking up a new toy off of Marketplace for them, like this dollhouse, and I was going to do it that day after we picked it up, but it, she was so into playing with it, and I just thought that wouldn't be a good idea because she wouldn't want to like take breaks to go to the bathroom all the time, so I didn't do it then, and then I didn't really have another three days where we could stay home and do it, so I just pushed it off another week, so we're going to try today we gotta do it because we're actually almost out of diapers and Greg's going to Costco tonight and I told him not to get more diapers so we have a few diapers left maybe like five or so and I have a package of pull-ups that I plan on using for nap time and bedtime um, just until I'm sure that she's good while she's sleeping um, but yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be our life for the next couple of days we're gonna go into the potty every 15 minutes I got a package of M&M's to use for, uh, you know, treats. <laughs> One for pee, two for poop. And that's how I've always done it. We just go straight into diapers and, or straight into underwear. And yeah, I'm pretty sure she's ready. She's given me signs she's ready. So, um, yeah, that's my plan for today. And maybe if I can, I have some new bedding that I want to put on my bed and some new pillows that I bought. So I might try to do that. But yeah, we're gonna do some lunch and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, I just put Paisley in for a nap. Um, things are going. <laughs> At first she was not very happy about, you know, wearing underwear, but like she was just crying about it. And I've never had, I don't think any of my kids have cried. Like when we started potty training, I don't remember that anyway. Um, but she's, I don't know, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna keep going, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, today might be rough, but hopefully tomorrow and the next day will be a little bit better. Um, but I am about to go on my computer and do a little research. Um, right now, Greg and I are kind of leaning more towards Virginia, I think, as far as what state we want to go to. Um, I do like the idea of Tennessee, like it just sounds cool to be like, oh, we're moving to Tennessee. <laughs> and like, we liked Tennessee, like the area that we were in was very pretty and the mountains and everything. But the thing with Tennessee is it is so far from here, where we are in New Jersey, it would be like 12 to 13 hours to drive here if we were gonna visit or for someone to come visit us. <laughs> it's, a, it's long and I don't think we would really want to do that. I mean, I don't really wanna do that, that drive ever again. <laughs> Not that it was bad. The, the kids were like really good. It was just, uh, it was just long. It just it was just driving forever. <laughs> um, and I just feel like having, like being that, having that far of a drive would like kind of make me not want to come back and visit that much just because of that. And I feel like I wanted to take a plane all the time and like fly and, and that's expensive. Um, so anyway, that's kind of why we're leaning more towards Virginia. And also we have, Greg has some family in Virginia. We have some family in Virginia, so we wouldn't be, depending on where we went, you know, we wouldn't be completely alone. There's like family out there that we don't see very often because of, you know, they live in Virginia. <laughs> um, so that's a plus to go to a state where there are, where we do have some family there. Um, but anyway, and, and it's like a five, it's like a five-ish hour trip, so it's not that long. I feel like it's doable. That's why I'm looking into Virginia a little bit more and I'm about to go and see like what the different areas of Virginia are called. Um, I'm gonna try to maybe see if I can join a homeschooling like Facebook group for Virginia and I see one Central Virginia homeschoolers. Oh, then I saw Fairfax and Loudoun County Virginia homeschoolers and that has 1.9 thousand members. So I was like, oh, that's kind of a lot. You know, almost 2,000 members in the group is not a lot, but some of the groups are very small, like the amount of, like the homeschool groups are small on Facebook. So I was like, let me see where these counties are and kind of try to learn a little bit about Virginia, I guess, <laughs> like what, where the counties are and different areas and stuff like that. And then, 
yeah, I'm thinking of joining. I'll see if I can get into a group. I don't know if they'll let me in because I don't live in Virginia, but I've heard of that being a good way to do some research and figure out like what areas you might want to be in, where there's like homeschool stuff going on. Like I don't want to be totally isolated and I want to have stores around also. Like I don't want to be like, I don't want to have to drive more than like half an hour to get to like a Home Goods or Marshalls or some kind of store like that or like a Walmart. That's different, but anyway. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to do a little bit of research and then maybe I'll go make my bed. <laughs> okay, well I just typed in where Fairfax County is and that is not where we want to be in Virginia. That is way too close to Washington. Um, we want to go more towards, I don't even know what county this is. Stanton? Is that how you say it? Waynesboro is where we stopped. Uh, we spent one night there on our way down to Tennessee, um, but I think we want to go down more because I was already looking at land in this area and there's not much land around here, but if you go down a little bit more by Lynchburg and just that's, that area around there, there's a lot more land for sale and cheaper, so I think that is kind of where we're looking right now. So yeah, I guess we're looking into more of central Virginia right now. Just my initial research that I'm doing. So if anyone's from there, comment below. Let me know what I need to know. Um, Greg really wants to buy land and build a modular home. I feel like that is overwhelming and scary. And I told him that I felt that way. And he's like, that's all right, I'll take care of it. And I'm like, okay. You do that. <laughs>